everyone! My name is Holly and I'm the Child and Youth Development Programmer at the Petawawa Military Family Resource Center. Thanks so much for joining me today and I hope you're having a lovely day. Today we're going to be doing an activity from our ABC 123 program by making a activity called Feed the Snowman. So to get started you're going to need a few simple uh, supplies um, that I'll go through with you now. So you're going to need three different colors of construction paper. So I'm using red, black, and last but not least, orange. I wonder what colors you'll choose. You also need scissors, a jar. I'm just using a spaghetti jar that I rinsed out and I'm repurposing for this uh, activity. Then you're going to need cotton balls or pom-poms a glue stick or if you don't have a glue stick you can absolutely use white or clear liquid glue and then tweezers. So let's start off by making our jar tra and transform it into a snowman. So I started off by choosing the colors I wanted to use. So I want my snowman to have a scarf so I cut a long strip of construction paper and I chose the color red um, but whatever color you choose that's up to you and then I'm going to glue this along the base or the bottom of my jar so it looks like a scarf. I also use my scissors to cut little like frays in the end of my scarf so it almost looks like um, strings hanging off the scarf it just to add to it. So I'm using my glue I'm going to glue one end of my scarf. Just move this over. I'm just going to put some glue on there and I'm going to stick it to my glass jar. And then once it's on there, I'm going to put more glue on this side of the scarf so that when the scarf wraps around, it'll have something to stick to. Just like that. Perfect. Then I cut out a hat like this. This is what I thought a hat would look like. I'm sure your might, yours might look a little bit different. And I'm just again going to put glue on the bottom of the hat and on the top here. And then I'm going to stick it on to my jar like that. So it looks like a snowman that's wearing a hat. Then I'm going to take the little piece of orange that I cut a triangle out of because that's what I think a carrot looks like and I'm going to stick it where um, I would put a carrot nose on a real snowman outside. So again put some glue on there and then also stick that to your snowman jar and then beforehand I cut out several little black circles um, because when we make snowman outside I use stone stones to use as his eyes and then as the smiling mouth. So then you're just going to place, oh, sorry, place some glue on those pebbles and then as well you're going to place them wherever you like on your snowman to make two eyes and a mouth. So now that I have the glue on I'm just going to place his little eyes on there like that. And then place his smiling face, which I may have tight or put the um, scarf a little high, but that's okay. I still like the way it looks. And then there. So then you have your very own little snowman jar. And now we're going to feed the snowman. So by doing this, we're going to put a little bit of a challenge in it by using tweezers to pick up cotton balls and put it inside of your jar. So I'm using just small tweezers. This is all I had at home. Um, another good set of tweezers to buy that are very affordable is what you'd use to pick up sugar cubes because they're nice and tiny and they're good for small hands. Um, or you can use whatever you have handy at home as tweezers. This is a great activity to work on fine motor skills. As well as, as well as problem solving skills. Sometimes those cotton balls don't go in the way we want to, to and your child will have to work and problem solve as to how they'll get the cotton balls into the uh, snowman. Um, it's a great way to work on vocabulary. So 
squeeze, because we have to squeeze the tweezers to hold the cotton balls. You have to pick up the cotton ball and you have to drop the cotton ball into your snowman, um, as well as work on some skills that will be used in school. So when we use the tweezers, I use my index finger and my thumb, and then I use my middle finger to support that. It's almost like a pencil grip. And then I squeeze the tweezers and that will help to hold the cotton ball until it's ready for me to drop it into the, um, the jar. So let's see how this works. So again, my tweezers are open now. I'm going to squeeze tightly with my index finger and my thumb. And I'm going to, first of all, when it's open, I'm gonna place it on the cotton ball and then I'm gonna squeeze it closed. So squeeze, 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 and I'm gonna lift it up and I'm going to drop it into the snowman. This is also a great activity to work as, to practice on counting skills. So let's count how many cotton balls I have here. So we're gonna pick up one, two, three, four, five, Six, six cotton balls. Plus I had one in there already, so that's seven cotton balls fit into my snowman. I'm sure he's full by now. Um, so as I had mentioned before when I was talking about the jar, it depends on the difficulty uh, you want this to be for your child, as well as their age. So I have an 18 month old. I picked a larger, um, like a larger opening, just because he's really learning how to use tweezers. Most of the times he just picks up the cotton balls and puts it in with his hands, and that's okay too. They're all learning, and by demonstrating how to use tweezers, they will like to explore with them as well and try to learn this and master this new skill. So that's our activity for today. I hope you enjoy creating this activity and enjoy learning with your child. Have a good day, bye.